I am solving the problem of cantilever beam having a couple in a anti-clockwise direction and a point load. For SF downward I will consider as a positive and upward negative. For bending sad face negative and smiling face positive. That means for sagging sorry this is positive and this will be negative. Smiling face will be positive and sad face will be negative. That means for hogging I will consider as a negative. For sagging I will consider as a positive. And for couple this is positive and clockwise I will consider as a negative. Anti-clockwise I will consider positive and clockwise I will consider as a negative. First I will convert into a point load here. Point load I will convert into a point load. First is 50 kilo newton, 50 kilo newton. Next point load exactly at the center you have to draw for UDL that is 10 into 20, 10 into 2, 10 into 2 is nothing but 20 kilo newton and half will be 1 meter this side and 1 meter this side and there is a couple here 25 kilo newton meter. Again there is a UDL exactly at the center. How to draw the arrow downward? It is 10 into 1, that is 10 kilo newton. 10 kilo newton. This is A, this is B, and this is C. Now shear force. Shear force. Now at C there is a load acting here therefore I will consider as a right and left SFC at right right 0 there is no load SFC left acting downward it is 50 kilo Newton next at B SF at B because there is no load there is a couple the couple doesn't affect on shear force Therefore, the previous value you have to write as it is 50 kilo newton. Next at A, a single letter because there is no load. Single letter and no load. This is 50. Uh, I made a mistake here. And this is 50 plus plus 20. 50 plus 20, 70 kilo newton here. First, it was right side, I will consider 0, left side is 50, at B, because the couple doesn't affect on shear force, B, single word, sorry, single letter here, 50 plus 20, 70, at A, single letter I will use it, previous value 70 plus 10, is nothing but 80 kN, or you can do 50 plus 20 plus then you will get the same answer okay first I will draw the shear force diagram SFD above is positive and below will be negative the first value is 80 80 kilo Newton 80 kilo Newton at B 70 kilo Newton At C, 50 kilo Newton and C, 0. There are two values. Now, because of UDL, the inclined line comes in picture. Inclined line, again inclined line. It should be inclined line. Next, 0. Positive, positive. Now, bending moment, bending moment here, I will start from the left, I will consider the BM at A, this diagram I will refer, BM at A, 50, because it is a hogging, downward force, minus 50 
into total length this is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 meter the total length will be what 3 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 minus 20 into 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 next couple anti clock sorry clockwise therefore you have to consider 25 only 25 please don't consider the distance when there is a couple next minus 10 into 0 0.5 minus 10 into 0 0.5 the answer is minus 220 kilo newton meter next at b there is a couple right couple here if it is a couple you have to consider left and right BM left BM at B left left minus 50 into distance that is 2 that is 1 plus 1 next minus 20 into 1 and this is a couple minus 25 minus 25 the answer will be minus 145 kilo newton meter right side right bm at b right side this side minus 50 into distance 1 plus 1 minus 20 into 1 answer is minus 120 kilo newton meter and bm at c will be 0 0 now I am drawing bending moment diagram BMD above is positive below is negative first is A minus 220 kilo newton meter there is a couple first is 145 kilo newton meter 120 because it has to reach towards the zero minus 120 kilo newton meter on the b there are two values c is 0 here as it is a uv udl therefore parabola straight line parabola negative negative in this way you have to solve the problem when the udl is subject to a uv udl and Sorry, in this way you have to solve the problem when the cantilever beam is subjected to a uniform distribution load and a couple and point load.